it's such a quick format that you have to find your form straight away, otherwise you're really up against it. The Phoenix, they need to rise. If it's their day, it will be a wow day. He now has 50. I knew before this comp how good he was. We've got a great team. It's been a great group to be a part of. dangerous side. They have some incredibly talented box office players. Direct it. Oh, yes. Oh, that's gone miles. I tell you what, they can play some serious shots nowadays. When you go and watch Smead, he is dynamic. He's strong. He's a little pocket battleship. 99 on the board. 100 he got in the second year, first 100 of the tournament. Will Smead, history maker, take a bow. Absolute brilliance at Edge Baston. We're very fortunate with all the comps on now, the players you get to rub shoulders with and share a changing room with. You think of Livingston, he'll go 50 off 20 deliveries and hit the biggest six that you've ever seen at a cricket ground. Oh, that's a monster hit. You go Mo, and then he'll come in and play incredible knock. Obviously, a local connection again with someone like Wokes. It's pretty cool to be fair, and yeah, try and use that to your advantage and sort of improve your own game. I think when you get so close to winning, uh, first year getting to the final, second year narrowly missing out on net run rate, you are so motivated because you're thinking we're getting so close, almost three feet from gold, that you want that gold. And I think that's what Birmingham Phoenix would have started out the year. What is the one or two percent we can bring to the party to make sure that we can get this over the line for us and our fans? Duck it. That is him. If you look at him in English, in the English game, whose stock has risen the most in the last year, two years, it'll be ducky. Sweeps, reverse sweeps, hitting down the ground, fabulous in the field, excellent signing. Worst kept secret who uh, the Birmingham Phoenix are going to take now. Ducky has made himself pretty he's clear that he's, uh, he's, he's where he wanted to play his cricket. The 100 is. I think an unbelievable competition. It kind of, for me personally, kick-started my career again. He's got his team to a decent total here. Another four for Ben Duckett. I think the penny had dropped from both outside and within Duckett, uh, uh, how talented he is and will continue to be. I'm Benny Howe, I'm an all-rounder and I play for Birmingham Phoenix. If you haven't seen much of, uh, of Benny Howe bowl, he's probably got somewhere in the region of 10, 11 different variations. As a batsman, he's your worst nightmare. This year we retained a lot of the same guys. There was a few new faces, which was nice, but the same coaching staff. Here at Birmingham, we tried to create a consistent set of players and coaches and staff to sort of build the bond and hopefully for the next few years as well. The Birmingham Phoenix have done really well over the last couple of seasons. A strong squad, brilliant ground, great talent in their team. And I think they were really boosted having Ben Duckett come in. They knew they'd recruited well and having him in that side would have given them that boost. It is a little bit of a foggy start, but we expect that will clear. We've got an experienced squad, we've got good depth and good youngsters. Hopefully we go out there and uh, perform. What an Ashes series he had. I didn't think it'd be long. Really nice cricket shot. Smead muscles one over mid wicket. Smead doesn't worry. Oh well, a sudden shot, almost out of nowhere as the covers have been called off. 
Well, sad news here because the game has been abandoned. It was setting up to be a, a really interesting contest, this one, and very disappointing scenes now. Momentum in, in these short format is so vital because you end up with players that don't bat. The sounds that we've mostly been hearing have been that of the rain falling. The team here are desperate to do everything in their power to get a game of cricket on. Looks like they're shaking hands there. Yes. I think we all know what that means, don't we? When you actually get to, to, to get onto the field and play the game, it's very difficult when the amount of games you've got left are short. And you can actually have a little bit of a dip, or you can maybe get a bit of momentum going towards the back end of the tournament. There is time to do that. It's such a quick format that you have to find your form straight away, otherwise you're really up against it. And that's what we found, we're really up against it. Should be taken. It is taken comfortably. Yay! Got him. And back to back for Benny Howell. Ah! Direct hit. Two sides, well, haven't had the best of it with the weather, so a chance to complete the game. In a bit of trouble here, the Birmingham Phoenix. Big shot, is it straight enough? Yeah. Big wicket for the Manchester Originals. We played on a couple wickets that didn't really suit our batting and I'm not sure we knew how to approach it. Celebrations for Paul Walter. Gets a crucial wicket, breaks it. Partnership, they look dangerous. In short form cricket, you either win because momentum's with you, but when it starts to go against you, it's really hard to turn that around. The batting just did not click, did not fire. Rounds out a good night for the Manchester Originals. Those two washouts kind of killed us a little bit early on. It's about kind of going out on a high and not thinking about what's gone, just trying to enjoy it and fingers crossed for a big score. Ben Duckett, who was with the Welsh Fire the previous year, had made the move to try and get into a side that he felt had that momentum. So both sides would have been thinking, right, let's let's prove which side is better. Where should Ben Duckett have been playing? And we're really looking forward to this contest there, lying at the bottom of the table. And one defeat, a heavy defeat against the Manchester Originals. Between the two sides, there would have been a bit of energy, point to prove. Ben Duckett, he's the one they've come to watch. Just can't find the boundary as yet. This has been a really good start from the Welsh fire. And he came out, you know, straight away, tried to impose himself. You could see that desire to show why he was there, why he's made that move. Finally, finally. And goodness me, has he got a hold of that one? Will he do it again? Slow ball heaved into the onside. Four more, chalk them up. Simple catch and Ben Duckett's innings, 25 from 20 balls, comes to an end. It was kind of another rinse and repeat, really. They got off to a very good start, um, you know, got away well, and then just really towards the end, things started to tail off. <laughs> Bowled him straight through. Went full, went straight. Straight up in the air. Good comeback from Payne. Oh, he's killed it! He's held it! Oh my goodness, that's come off his head! You could see that atmosphere draining away, and I think it, it was like a cyclical thing that the team didn't play well, the atmosphere wasn't good, and the team weren't inspired. Well, as well executed. Bosh, look at that. Straight out of the screws, cleared the man on the rope. But that will be that. Beautifully stroked over extra cover. Very much back to the drawing board for the men in orange. Moen Ali with the plenty of thinking to do. We lost those two games, so then we're four games in and we hadn't won a game. Um, so it was really tough to get going, I think, and, um, and that's the nature of the game, especially when you've had rained out games. They got off to a flying start and then we just tried to drag it back 
uh, take the game as long as they could and we knew from there it's going to be difficult to win. As a captain I try and be as relaxed as I can and um, I know you can't win every game and it has been a difficult start with two being rained off and we played on two wickets that probably didn't suit us. So. Um, but we have to, obviously, now all four games are must-win games. Mo is very honest. Mo will come out and say that wasn't good enough. And he's very switched on. Excellent captain. Mo is one of the more relaxed blokes in cricket. When he does speak, you listen. He sets a very relaxed atmosphere. It hasn't really changed that much this year. I think part of that comes from him not saying as much. So I think, you know, when he's speaking, there's a lot of thought and meaning behind it. They really need to get their plans right. You've got to get your confidence up and know exactly who you're going to take on because you cannot afford to give any momentum to a team. Tomorrow obviously is quite big for us. It's a home game which I guess you're all looking forward to. Yeah, love playing here so really looking forward to it. Hopefully put on a good show and can win and get the crowd behind us. This is a massive moment. It's top versus bottom, winless versus unbeaten and this is their time and it's going to be their biggest challenge yet. They are sitting rock bottom. They played four, had two no results. Coming into the Oval Invincibles game here, it was, at the time, a must-win game. You were playing on a fresh wicket, which was, I think we were happy about after the, the first four games. We probably have the best time to bat when the ball's new and the field's up, so we have to try and cash in. Median Duckett got us off to a flyer. Punished by Duckett. <laughs> And that left-hander has just belted it leg side. Beautiful cover drive. You know, I've not opened loads. I found, you know, if I'm not going to score loads of runs, you know, the way I score them at least. I was really happy with how I set the tone that game, trying to get us off to a good start. Duck it, looks in fine touch. Jamie came in and played a proper innings. Completely silent, really, and Smith has got him on their feet. He's an incredible talent. I think he is someone really to watch out for for years to come. He's probably the one batter that's fired for us this year, so it's been good to watch him. I think I knew before this comp how good he was. Pulled. That is gone straight into the Hollies. A couple of bounces. He now has 50. Just be a single to bring up his first 50 in the 100. In the air, over extra. And they finish 160 off their 100 deliveries. Is this the momentum they need? Birmingham Phoenix yet to win a match in a tournament. And sometimes when you finish on a high, it just carries into your bowling. And that's exactly what all the Phoenix supporters would want. Overall, clearly have a strong batting lineup, so we knew how to come out firing. Well, it's set up nicely. Top v bottom. Birmingham Phoenix and Moen Ali desperate for a win to move up that table. Moen Ali knows they've got a par score, but he also knows that it is a top, top batting lineup that he's going to come against. Phoenix will have to be at their best. You never really know halfway, especially with this boundary being so short. This is tough work. This is proper bowling. And just that bit of width is all that Cox needed to get off the mark with a boundary. Oi! Edged and wide of that man again. And gone. After the big build-up, he delivered. Milne and, and Wokes, he both started really well with the ball. And he's back, Chris Wokes, England's star of the Ashes. They love him in this part of the world. Can he do the magic with this white ball that he did in the Ashes? If you think of a cricketer to bring into your squad, not only the local lad, but the local lad who arguably was the player of the Ashes, really, Chris Wokes. He's genuinely one of England's best bowlers and, and brings that real consistency to a squad, brings all of those dynamics. So when he comes in to make his 100 debut, everyone is going to be behind a player like that. He, he's game-changing for a side and just gives you that confidence. 100 debut for Chris Wokes, a big cheer. Edged, easiest of catches to duck it. Klassen has gone for a duck. That is a massive blow. The crowd clearly love Wokesy. 
It was nice to sort of hear them cheering him on and being on the same team as him. New batters have to find a way of starting up again and, and, and that restricts their scoring as well. And you know, to have wicket takers across our whole bowling attack is really handy and we had a well we had a decent bowling attack this year. Oh, is there a glove involved? Is there a glove involved? That's a brilliant catch. One ball can potentially change the game. We just stayed aggressive the whole time. Which, that's how we're going to play the game. We're going to stay aggressive. Gone. Slapped it straight to Moen Ali. Extra cover. Captain takes captain. Gets underneath it. Takes it. Kane Richardson has his first wicket. We just kept taking wickets. Edged. Taken and eventually it was too much for them. That will do nicely their first win in this year's 100. The Oval Invincibles, their first loss. It was top versus bottom and the home side came out on top. That for me actually would for Moen Ali and the Phoenix say, if we play like this, this is how we should be playing. If I look at that team sheet, this is how we should be playing all the time. It's always pretty cool winning in front of a home crowd. I think the atmosphere here is the best in the country. You sort of see the energy it sort of produces around the crowd. I think everyone's got, in Birmingham, especially here at Edgbaston, everyone's got the orange. Yeah, I do love playing here and you can tell who the home team is here. Unfortunately, looking back on it now, it didn't kickstart the run we needed, but I think it showed the potential we have as a group, you know, to beat the best team in the comp. We've really struggled with team performances and that day was perfect. It was great to put in a team performance where lots of people put their hand up and performed. Because of those box office players with bat and ball, because it was become a bit of a fortress, edge baston, difficult place to go, because they'd been there or thereabouts, because they're well led by Mo and Ali, I think they would have seen it as the next step is to win this thing and that it didn't work out for them really. It's a shame that things haven't gone to plan but you know inside the dressing room you wouldn't know that it's been a great group to be a part of. Both the men and women didn't play that well they'll want to get back to winning ways next year. We've got a great team it just just didn't click this year. We hadn't quite got going but we still have the right personnel in the side just keep building on each year I've enjoyed it every year I've played so I hope it just stays on and keeps going. For London Spirit, it was like a must-win game. They would have been going down to fight that fixture like their lives depended on it. Playing at Lords in front of a home crowd was something that really got us going. Been a bit of a roller coaster of emotions. Both these sides desperate for a win. Over! Yeah, that's plum. It was showing the fun side to the cricket. Certainly that excitement.